The state of Tennessee is the anti-gay capital of the country right now, with 28 bills being considered that would restrict LGBTQ plus rights. But we're learning a little bit more about the government in Tennessee, and it becomes clear why they're so fixated on LGBTQ plus people. So last week, if you recall, we talked about Governor Bill Lee who's anti-gay, and he signed an anti-drag queen bill into law, which would heavily restrict drag performances. But unfortunately for him, a photograph emerged of him in drag. Now, the lieutenant governor supported that same ban on drag performances. And this week, we're learning some things about him that is, uh, we'll just say, a little bit unfortunate. So as the advocate explains, several days after the Republican governor of Tennessee signed a law criminalizing drag performances in public, a local publication discovered the lieutenant governor, who is equally anti-LGBTQ+, has been liking and commenting on one young gay man's posts. Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally, 79, regularly comments with heart emojis and encouraging words on the Instagram page of a young gay aspiring performer named Franklin McClure, the Tennessee C. Haller reports. He used his verified account, oh my god, repeatedly to post underneath some of McClure's most sexy pictures using heart and fire emojis. In the photos, McClure often appears posing while scantily clad and sometimes wearing makeup. McClure and McNally seem to know one another because they exchange comments underneath a few posts. McNally even refers to McClure as Finn, his nickname, which is not mentioned anywhere in his page the outlet reports okay now he has since deleted all of the comments that he posted to the gay twink in question but the receipts are still out there and i'm going to show you the receipts but what's interesting about this story is that he's not actually denying it and i have to show you the response from his spokesperson before i show you the receipts because it makes it that much better his spokesperson is basically clutching their pearls, saying, how dare you suggest that these innocent posts towards this this young gay twink who's posting thirst traps is anything other than innocuous? It's insane that they're going with this defense, but here's what they say. Trying to imply something sinister or inappropriate about a great-grandfather's use of social media says more about the mind of the left-wing operative making the implication than it does about Randy McNally. We'll see about that. As anyone in Tennessee politics knows, Lieutenant Governor McNally is a prolific social media commenter. He takes great pains to view every post he can and frequently posts encouraging things to many of his followers. Does he always use the proper emoji at the proper time maybe not <laughs> that's that's a hell of an understatement uh, but he enjoys interacting with constituents and tennesseans of all religions backgrounds and orientations on social media he has no intention of stopping oh yeah then why did he delete all of his responses to this gay twink hmm? now i love that the spokesperson is saying this because when you look at the comments and specifically the pictures, which I have to censor because they're not appropriate for YouTube, it becomes very clear that grandpa was horny posting on the main nonetheless. So let's look at some of these receipts here. He commented a heart emoji on this photo. And I still can't get over the fact that he is literally using his verified Lieutenant governor account. Oh my God. He's just out in the open horny post and this is insane now there's also this one finn you can turn a rainy day into rainbows and sunshine <laughs> it's like the gayest shit you could post and he added a second comment with three heart emojis and three fire emojis and heart eye emojis in response to him being thanked for his comments wow now he responded love it with hearts to uh this pic and in response to this picture he commented with the hand clap <laughs> <laughs> with the hand clap emoji <laughs> and he said super look finn which is such a boomer way to comment on what somebody is wearing but he's like super look finn <laughs> as, he's, as he's wearing underwear with his ass hanging, <laughs> with his ass hanging out oh my god and also <laughs> hi <su> hi sunshine <laughs> in response to him in a skirt, which, I mean, I guess this would be illegal in the state of uh, Tennessee, saying, super, and you need to be on Dancing with the Stars. Whew. Okay. Listen. You motherfuckers are not going to convince me that these posts are innocuous. My dude is horny posting on the main to pictures of ass. 
you can't convince me that this is just a standard post that great grandfathers make. If great grandfathers are making these kinds of posts, we need to throw them in horny jail. Now, to my knowledge, this man is uh, the gay twink in question is of legal age. So there's not a crime being alleged. But what is at issue here is the hypocrisy. He supported the ban on drag performances. Now, I will say that I don't necessarily agree with the characteriza uh, characterization of the advocate who claims that he's equally as anti-gay as Governor Bill Lee, because he actually, as homophobic as he may be, is seemingly more reasonable on a number of issues. For example, he declined to vote on a bill banning gay adoption. I don't know if that was on purpose, if he just missed the vote, but there's that. Also, he was reluctant to pass a trans sports ban, citing the need for his party to become more sensitive on individual rights. But I mean, if you are supporting the drag performance ban, that's kind of a, a yikes, right? But either way, it makes so much sense. I understand now why Tennessee is so fixated on LGBTQ plus issues. They're all just closeted homosexuals who are super horny. And I, again, cannot get over the fact that he was commenting on these thirst traps, which are obvious thirst traps on his main account. You don't get to just chalk this up to, oh, well, he's an old man. It's harmless. He doesn't know that these are thirst tra traps. Sorry, I'm not buying it. No. So, yeah, the governor of Tennessee is an anti-drag former drag queen, and the lieutenant governor loves thirst traps of young gay twinks. It explains so much. Like, honestly... The number one tell is somebody who's just hyper fixated on these issues. Anyone who can't stop talking and obsessing about LGBTQ plus people, it's almost guaranteed that they're going to have some insecurities about their own gender identity or sexual orientation. I'm looking at you, Steven Crowder. I'm looking at you, Matt Walsh. But in the state of Tennessee, it makes so much sense now. It makes so much sense why they're so fixated on queer people. I'm gonna come. Uh, uh, do not come. 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 Welcome, Welcome to the come, come zone. zone. Uh, 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 come. Uh, uh, come. Uh, uh, come. Come. 